always had a really good time in uh, in Athens and uh, on the Amon tour we went to Thessaloniki as well. We've never played there before, so uh, I think uh, yeah, you know, there are some real heavy metal fans in, in Greece, and uh, you know, it feels it feels very good to be here uh, to play our music. Um, to people who understand it, you know. So I'm looking forward to it. It's never been uh, a question about how we were gonna look or, you know, behave or anything like that. So uh, we haven't changed. I mean, our, our music has changed a bit over the years, but uh, I think, you know, the, the basic thing hasn't changed at all. And uh, I wouldn't be interested in, uh, you know, having a new style or anything like that, you know. I think uh, when you play heavy metal, you know, it needs to be uh, denim and leather and studs and stuff like that, so. Obviously, we deal a lot with the, the Norse mythology, so for us to, you know, go somewhere else uh, would be kind of strange. On the other hand, the Norse mythology and the, the Roman mythology is based on the Greek mythology in many respects. I mean, you know, you have the basic, the basic framework is the same, you know, you have Zeus, we have Odin. Um, uh, for instance, uh, and uh, or you know, Ares or Tyr uh, or Mars, it's the same. So, um, but there are differences as well, of course. But uh, no, I don't think we will. The, the Norse thing is something that I was brought up with. That I have a, I have an emotional attachment to it, and I also have an understanding for it that I don't have for Greek mythology, even though I'm very interested in it, it wouldn't feel it wouldn't feel natural, you know. with Accept, for instance, um, twice, um, and uh, we've also, uh, I mean, we toured with uh, Motorhead, um, so we've, we've done a few of those classic, um, you know, uh, legendary bands as well, so, uh, uh, but, you know, um, Suddenly you, you get an offer, you know, and you have to uh, think about uh, various things uh, before you accept it. And uh, I think we've been very lucky with all the bands that we toured with. That the tours have been really good, and we've, uh, you know, been a good, good vibe, you know, between the bands and everything. So. I think we've we've done two covers during our whole career, and uh, one is War Pigs because we were asked 
to do a cover for a festival that we did because we'd never done a, a cover uh, before and the Stormbringer thing was more that uh, the record label wanted or we, we needed bonus stuff for, for the album uh, for uh, you know the various editions uh, and we didn't have anything so uh, I just suggested since we've been fooling around with Stormbringer on sound checks, it was a very easy song for us to, to do, you know. So that we don't have any plans to do any covers in the future, though it's basically just coincidence that it happened, so. That's the reason, I mean, that's the reason that this band has been together for such a long time is that, uh, you know, me and Fox, um, we have a lot of, uh, you know, we're, we understand each other very well when it comes to the band and everything, so, uh, but of course there have been difficult things over the years as well, uh, that's, that's just natural, you know, but I think on the whole, that's the whole trick with being in a band is to find the right people to play with um, if you want it to last you know we've seen so many bands come and go during our existence and most of the time it's because of the, um, the people in the band that they can't get along uh, and they they haven't decided who who does what and who decides what you know I think that every band needs to have a leader and uh, when you agree on that then it becomes democratic anyway because everyone is okay with how decisions are being made. You know? 